It is estimated that 11 million people will run a marathon this year. In addition, cross country is a very popular sport in many countries, and track and field is a worldwide sport. So how do these people get faster and run for longer periods of time? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I will explain what happens to the human body as it trains at three different levels of intensity and why these three levels of intensity should be included in your training. If you take a look at this pyramid, you will see the three levels of intensity. The base, which makes up the bulk of your training, is aerobic. It is easy running. If you average seven minutes per mile in a 5K race, your easy pace is roughly nine to 10 minutes per mile. Tempo pace, which is found in the middle, and the 14 minute 5K person, their tempo pace will be roughly 740. And at the top of the pyramid will be anaerobic pace, which would be 630 pace or faster for the 14 minute 5K person. Let's take a look at the changes created in the body, which are caused by easy running. Easy, steady running is the best type of training for cardiovascular improvement with the least amount of discomfort. Time spent running is more important than the intensity. This easy running strengthens the heart muscles and increases the stroke volume of the heart. In addition, this type of running creates changes on a cellular level. The cells used in running will have an increase in the number and size of the mitochondria, which are the factories where energy is created in the form of ATP. In addition, there's an increase in the oxidative enzyme activity, which increases how quickly oxygen is processed. Also, there will be an increase in the number of active capillaries delivering oxygen to the muscles. The muscles used in running become better at conserving glycogen, which is sugar, which is used to create energy, and they get better at converting fat to energy. Let's look at tempo pace now. Runners must be able to clear lactic acid in the blood, which is a waste product. Blood lactic accumulation is a function of how much lactic acid is being processed by the exercising muscle and how much is being cleared by muscle, heart, and the liver. Tempo pace runs of 20 minutes or more help improve your body's ability to clear lactic acid. If you can hold down blood lactic accumulation, you can run a faster pace for a longer period of time. And finally, anaerobic conditioning creates the following changes. This type of running increases your VO2 max, which is the maximum rate of oxygen your body is able to use during exercise. The oxygen is turned into energy called ATP at the mitochondria. This is intense running, but for a short period of time. So when you train consistently, these three areas, easy runs, tempo runs, and anaerobic runs will become and help you be a faster runner. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.